guys, welcome back to my favorite abandoned resort, the Neville Lee. Located here in the Catskills in New York, this is the place I filmed once before, just under a year ago. That's because it was announced they were going to be demolishing it spring of 2019. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it down below in the description. I suggest you watch it because it's the most detailed and most viewed video about this resort, where I cover the back history and show photos from when it was in operation. So I recommend checking that one out first before you watch this one. But we're back here today because, as you can see, September 2019, the resort's still here. That's because we learned some news as to why the resort hasn't been demolished yet. So in this video, I'm going to share that news with you and check out a few areas that we haven't explored last time. I'm also not alone. I do have Mike from Good Day from Decay and our special guest, Lori, who uh, wanted to check it out as well. So if you're ready, come along with us. So some of this might look familiar to you from the first video. This is the chairlift area. We were here back in December, January time frame. So everything is much more overgrown now. But all the buildings are still here, including the ski lodge, the ice skating rink. But off to the right here, there are a few structures we're going to be checking out to see what's inside of them. We think there's some good treasures hiding in there, as well as some other locations of the property. But before we go forward, I am going to share some information with you once I get my cheat sheet out. So doing some research, I found out that money for the proposed $300 million sports complex was supposed to arrive in early March of 2019. The lender that holds a mortgage on the 564 acre site said that in court papers they are owed more than 25 million. The firm auctioned off the property in December and was only bidder and they paid 3.5 million. The mortgage company paid the 2019 taxes of $54,186 on the property and a lawyer confirmed that the Neville project is approved and they believe the funds will be made available soon. This is a news article from the end of March 2019 and our way to this resort, we saw a, um, a sign along the road advertising that the Neville Resort coming back, what was it, March of 2020? March of 2020. Obviously, that's not going to happen. They haven't even began or begun the demolition part of it. So we really don't know what the future holds for this place. But since it's still here, we just wanted to share that update with you, show you some of the other areas that we did miss. And if anything does come to fruition with demolishing it or staying still or whatever the case is we will keep you updated but with that said let's check out some of the property here and see some of the cool stuff that we missed last time so this right here is the tow rope area for the snow tubing that would have brought riders back up to the top of the hill Check this out. Holy crap. This was actually discovered, I should say we discovered it by watching J&M Explorations video. They found this by snooping around so I'm going to link their channel down below in the description if you want to check it out. They've made countless return trips here, and this is how we spotted it from watching their videos. So this is an amazing find, though. This is like untouched, incredible condition. Look at the workshop here. It's like it's just left... Fan belts. But that is something else. And the door's open. Let's get inside and check it out. Has the old AM FM radio cassette deck. It's even got a steering wheel. Yeah. When you turn it, it would engage or disengage. This is so cool. This is the adjust the blade. 
and your rudder or rotor uh, groomer on the back, like the old cassette. Yeah, so this is really awesome. Thankfully, it's untouched. You know, it's not vandalized, graffitied, nothing like that. Wait, why, why is the phone ringing? Again? Hello? Yeah, they're not, they're not open for the season anymore. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're just kind of snooping around here, checking things out. All right, sorry, I can't help you. All right, take care. I don't know why. Every time I go somewhere, the phone always rings. I don't get it. You can see it's all little, almost like trailer wheels using to propel the tracks. It's got a big diesel powered engine on the back. And this is the uh, groomer, which leaves a nice fresh trail of snow. Pretty awesome. Here's a look at the operator's cab. It's got a throttle, so it's got your high beam switch. Pretty cool. I always wanted to drive one of these. My father used to operate one of these at uh, Montage Mountain. When I was a kid, grooming the slopes. But very, very cool nonetheless. So that snow groomer was an amazing find. First time we've ever seen one in an abandoned location. If you do come here and find that, please be 100% respectful of that because it's not damaged, it's not graffiti, not vandalized. Just observe it, take some pictures, and leave it be. Oh, look at this. This is some of the old snow tubes. This massive motor. Wow. It needs to be used to feed the snow guns to blow artificial snow. So this is the uh, probably the pump area for blowing the snow, I think. I think these are all water pumps and a big electric motor. Yeah, it looks like some of the uh, hookups for the water lines. Is it mild or spicy? Oh, it's mild. Jeez. That is ginormous. <laughs> Those of you that are familiar with insects. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Take. Those of you that are familiar with insects, is that a beetle or what is that? So this is the uh, operating electrical system for the snow throwers. 
pretty neat. All right, we're gonna continue on. Here's the rope line for the uh, snow tubers. So you guys remember this, this is the uh, ski lodge area where they had the sunken in fire pit and the skis and boots and cafeteria area, skating rink. We'll take a look in there later. I'll give you a quick peek at the skating rink. This is one of the structures they're supposed to salvage to have for the new resort. That's going to require a lot of work. Look at this. Helmets. It says Nevali on it. Okay, so in there is the uh, indoor tennis courts and racquetball courts that we showed in the last video. We just used it as a shortcut. Came out here, we got the Neville water tank, the circular tower in the distance, and the uh, villa is around here somewhere. Might be up top there. That's the other side. It's over by the tower. Oh, okay. So we're trying to find some areas that we missed last time to show you guys, so we're just kind of navigating right now and seeing what our next direction is. That's an old nest. Yeah, we weren't here. This is weird. Oh, here's books, records. There's clothing up here too. Wow, look at that decay. Those shelves with the uh, payroll cards and books are falling in on itself. Yeah, we missed this last time. Look at this. There's garments up here. This might have been um, maybe like a uh, dry cleaners or something. There's like dresses and robes. Ooh, I got a third floor. Oh man, this is like a death trap over here. Everything's just caved in. See that? 1957, I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, this floor is sagging my god oh, this floor is all soft like a brand new or unused 
paper towel dispensers, air fresheners. They're brand new, still in the box. Not sure what that is. This is like new unused merchandise for the resort. So Mike found this box upstairs. Is Russell's Improved Fly Ribbon. Death to flies. You don't see advertising like that nowadays. There's like a little pamphlet for the Neville. It says, so easy to reach. And it has a property on here and some information about it. So upstairs, Mike said it's just a lot of um, items like cups and papers and just various random items. Nothing really of significance to check out. So look at this though. That is just the decay. It's like this half of the building we're standing in is okay. That half is completely falling apart. It's nuts. Oh, got choppers. There might be Arnold. Get to the chopper! All right, so quick update. We just came out of there. That's where all the garments were and the papers falling down, the books, the payroll. Got a little garage right here. Let's we'll see what's inside. Oh, you know you're in the cat skills. more Jewish dialogue. It's like it's like storage. Great way of waking up. Folders in your cup. That was horrible, I know. Some kind of decoration there. Jacket class, something. Red jacket class. Not sure what that means. Even the old door handles, doorknobs. Like, get that phone already. I don't know why they keep calling. They're relentless. Yeah. So, Mike, the finder of all finds, found a Neville shirt. Explain how you found it. So, I go to the Salvation Army because I like buying cheap shirts. And this is sitting on the rack, just on the outside of the rack. I walked in and there it sat, staring at me. I was like, holy crap, we were just there. I paid a whopping dollar for this. I couldn't, I had to get it. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It's a large. But it doesn't fit. It's I, just incredible to have. Had to get it. We can make it fit. <laughs> All right, so looking outside, there is the uh, barn-looking structure in the garage we just came from. Came in through this door, and we were brought to the massive ballroom that we discovered last time. It had the murals on the walls and stuff. So we are in one of the main buildings here. You can't see them now. They're all mold and faded, but there is murals. All right, so we found the right place we need to go. We came through a hallway out of the banquet room and we've reached the back kitchen area. Now, if you remember in the first video, we actually heard voices and sounds back here and we didn't know where they were coming from or who it was. We never saw anyone else here, but we're gonna explore this area a little bit more because it is pretty massive. Oh, there's a gate here. How'd you get over there? I'm locked in here. Oh, right here.
like some maybe coolers or something. Get some old cooler handles. Look, there's still cases of stuff in there. It's a small cooler. Yeah, this is the area. There's the big ice machines. Yeah, we were in this room and we heard noises from somewhere. We don't know where. So we're gonna explore around here a little bit. I think there's some steps going up and some other back rooms we missed. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time here. I put it on wide angle, it's not as good quality, but you'll be able to see more. So, I think it'll help with helping you feel like you're here with us. There's some range hoods. Some OSHA stuff. Two thousand eight to two thousand nine for insurance carriers only. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is the little salad bar. That's going out into the main lobby area. Here's another one too. So yeah, we're gonna see some things we've seen before, but we're just making sure we cover all of the bases here. Well, here's a blast in the past. <laughs> Old Pepsi. Jeez, I wonder what the date is on that. You guys have an idea roughly how old that is? Comment down below, that's pretty cool. So what's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here? Come on, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's another really cool spot I enjoyed seeing last time. And now the wide angle really brings it into view, this big skylight in the marble floor. Go back into where we were because I want to find some more of those kitchen areas. So I learned that these are for pies or cakes. Ooh, look at that. That's even worse than before. That's all kinds of bad written all over it. That telephone better not ring this time. Okay, so we didn't go down there or up here. Let's go up first. Ooh, some of these steps are kind of soft. Not a good feeling. don't know what's up here. That's just a little weird. Baby chair. Documents and documents, boxes. All the baby chairs. It's a waiting pool. A little nervous up here. It's just a different vibe up here. 
What is this? Some showers and bathrooms. Look at these old stalls. Massive cobweb here. Ooh, there's the elevator shaft. That's a service elevator. Doesn't want to open. I have no clue where I'm at right now. It's just destruction, bird feathers, bird crap. These are some kind of battery chargers. Ooh, this, <coughs> this room smells really bad. Oh God. It's almost burning my eyes. I can't even stand in there. I don't know what that is. Wow, look at that. It's a little boat. This is really creepy up here. This is like a whole nother vibe to this resort. A little on edge. Hope I don't encounter any, anything or anyone. What the? Look at the old TV. Look at these, brand new. Binders, wow. There's old banners up here. There's even records up here. I don't know what's going on up here. This place is all kinds of creepy. I'm going back downstairs to try to find Mike and Lori because I don't know, something up here just seems off. And that one room was almost causing me to gag. It was pretty bad. So let's go back downstairs. Ooh. Mike? No clue where they are. Let's go down here. This is a dead end. This McDonald's cups. Look at this has the old screw and fuses. Imagine they're powering a resort with these. Jeez, that's crazy. Well, it says emergency lighting, but still. So did you go to the left over here? Through this way? Um, well, yeah, we went, it loops right around. So okay, I'm gonna walk. If you go right, either way, it goes right around this way. Oh, look at that nastiness. Are we just through here? Well, this is something different. No, I was here because I remember that. Is this the mini golf? Yeah, just 
goes all the way around in the back. Yeah, this is very cool. This is something we definitely didn't see last time, indoor mini golf. I like the different colored walls. The bathrooms. Oh, you see these? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, there's like a dozen of them. There's even a couch in here. Did you go back in here at all to see where this goes? Yeah, it just it's a big loop around. Okay. Ooh. I wonder what these are for. There must be like a whole gaming area down here. I think they had an arcade down here at one point too. Look at that. It's like from like uh, Price is Right. This room looks like a bomb went off. These old breakers. It's all corroded. So as I've said in the past, it just goes to show that no matter how many times you come to the location, it's always something new to see. Being our only second time here, we knew we, we had a significant amount of stuff that we missed the first time. So everything that we're showing you for the most part is unseen to us and to you guys as well from my first video. So still a lot more to check out, but very cool so far. I'm gonna play a little ping pong. Okay, sir. <laughs> I don't have a paddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Boo. <laughs> Just goes to show I'm not a very good ping pong player. Like one. <laughs> I thought we were gonna use imaginary paddles and balls. I didn't know you actually had one. <laughs> Like, man, he came prepared. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It looks like where trolls live back there. That's weird. A luggage cart. Pay phones. Kids don't know what pay phones are. And it doesn't mean going to T-Mobile and paying for a phone. I, uh, okay, I think we're coming towards that Starlight Lounge area. This is the, near the main lobby. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, look at this is uh, where you come to check in. There's a tower. Oh, very cool. We didn't check those section of buildings. I think they're just rooms, but we may get to them. It's like people have been driving quads right through here. There's the elevators.
Look at that. Actually, it's, I have a 13. Yeah, 13, but it goes from ground, main, 11 through 16. It's probably not the wisest decision, but... Ooh, you can feel a lot of cold air in here. I'm not stepping all the way in. Hmm. Look at this shag carpeting. <clears throat> oh, there's more of those signs for the demolition. Keeps going up too. Yeah, this is like main check-in. Oh, and back here I think is the inner office area where there's a keys and stuff. There's a time clock. What is this? Ski boots. Skis. I wonder what the hell's down here. Oh, spiderweb heaven. There's pictures down here too. These are all polar like photographs. Yeah, we were never down here. What's this called? The menorah or something? Or I think possibly. Oh, Christmas. Yeah, it it's officially abandoned. Yay! Christmas lights, poinsettias, a reindeer. I had my doubts if it was abandoned, but at least this confirms it. I wasn't quite sure. Mike, do you want to get laid? Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, I like Nevely. Oh, look at these. You're all documents and stuff, payroll. There is just heaps of stuff down here. Oh, computer monitors. Probably about two dozen of them in here. There's fax machines, keyboards. Oh, this is a goopy mess here. Jeez, this looks like a death chamber down here. This is so creepy. I don't know which way to go. Take a look at this hallway here, like at these doors. We've got more steps going down. You want to see where that goes straight when you're done? Yeah. I'll check down here quick. Oh, okay, so we're downstairs below the main lobby now. There's a Starlight Lounge. Nice. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> and Lori stumbled upon some Powerades and Heinz ketchup. Is there a date on this? I don't know what Something that 12? Yeah, I don't know what that says. Something 12. Let me check this quick wire here. I call this Starlight, but it's actually Stardust. This is one of our favorite areas. It's 
eerily quiet, but you can just imagine back in the day. Oh, water fountain, yes. Ah, oh, crap. Doesn't work. Here's some of the new dressing rooms. This one is, uh. According to the wow. door, that's the salad dressing room. <laughs> Got you like your own private entrance here. That's definitely interesting. The old lamp in the corner. Well, that's a nice piece of furniture. Oh, yeah. some of this furniture is really cool. There's notice too, see this is like cut in half. That's all copper in there that someone cut. Ridiculous. That's a lot of work to get that out too. Wonder how they did it. Hmm. So we retraced our steps and we're back down in the basement area where we saw the skis and boots. There's a game room here I'm going to try to get into. <sighs> oh, I'm stuck on something. Okay. There's just all kinds of stuff. There's like dominoes, checkers, gender bender. Brain Quest. It's just it's like a game room, literally. Horseshoes. Oh, there's Wilson. <laughs> the volleyball. <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> it's all tight and dirty and smelly in there. Golf balls. Under the bullhorn. Gamecraft. Now the official fire marshal in Eveli. Don't judge me, it doesn't fit my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since we're in the air, we're gonna show you the indoor pool more time, and it's a pretty sad sight. From last time we were here, this graffiti wasn't here, and that's the bridge that went over the little waterfall area that somebody threw it into the pool. Just makes you wonder what goes through people's heads. Yeah, this pool was spotless when we were here. There was nothing down here like this. It's broken tiles, broken glass. And yeah, that bridge went right across here. It was for guests to walk over to get to the other side when water was flowing down here. All right, Mike, keep to the shallow end, okay? 
Sorry. I don't have to rescue you again. I don't have my Baywatch <laughs> bathing suit on today. We don't have our life ring. Look at this glass here. It's crazy. It's like... And so we actually found an incident report here dating back to 2001. And I'm going to read it to you briefly. It says, The guest stated that while her son Brian was tubing down the ski hill, that the staff worker tried stopping him with his foot. The guest stated that Andy's knee hit her son in the head, causing a minor injury to his forehead and nose. Incident occurred at approximately 12.45 p.m. And that would be right out there, the ski slope. All right, so back in there is where the indoor pool is. Just check that out. We do have this behind us, these structures right here. We have not checked those out last time. We're going to do a brief run through them to see if there's anything worth sharing with you guys. We'll give you a little bit of a look. Anything that's important, we'll obviously focus on. But um, after that, we have one more building to check out, the upstairs portion of the villa. And that's probably going to conclude our tour here at the Nebuli Resort. So let's head inside there. Oh, darn, these are padlocked. Guess we can't go in. Well, yes, we can. We got steps going down. Look at the sign of that men's room. The illustration. Ooh, I might be going through the floor. Oh yeah, look at that. These are all guest rooms. Look at that chandelier. You've got the maid's cart. All these rooms are gutted though. So yeah, these are just empty guest rooms here. No furniture in them. And all the air conditioning units, heating units are stripped. But at least we now we know what's in here. I'll give you a peek in the one room here just so you can see. There's nothing. Ooh. It's a little strange. Nothing really worth showing. There's a connecting room. I'm going to check downstairs now. Oh, I've been down here before. This is the stairs by the pool brought me down here in the last video. Here's a little seating area. Still flooded down here too. Here's a fireplace. Yeah, I was down here in the first video. I didn't even realize what building I was in. There's connecting tunnels that took us here. Yeah, I came through that way last time and didn't even realize it. So we know where these go, so let's go back upstairs. There's another set of steps going up right above the ones we came down. We'll check that out and see what's upstairs. Wow. Got some water damage.
There's even a blade pin there too. And that right there, peeking through the trees, is the villa. We did the first floor on that. Ran out of time and battery and memory card space for the second one, second floor, so. That is where we're headed right now. And that tower behind the trees, you guys obviously know that up on the top floor was the penthouse suite where it had all the old furniture and glassware and stuff. I'm not checking back up there today, but I'm gonna go back in this place. This was at one point, it was um, lodging for guests. Later on, it became lodging for employees and workers. Looks like they're putting up the fence all around it. See it? Yeah. More open windows, more broken windows. It's a shame. Oh, yes, the Weightmaster 3000. I really don't want to fall down. You can see that railing, it's tilted. I don't know if I should even dare going down here. I'm going to try and go as far as I can. That doesn't look good. I think the other side might be in better shape. This is... Room 12. Now look at, does that not look creepy or what? That looks like a, like a mental patient's room. Jeez. Again, this is former guest rooms, later repurposed for employees. Not walking in there, but look at, there's books, furniture, just all types of weird stuff. Let's see if we can go in here. This looks pretty solid over here. These are almost like where they would have kept people like captured. Wow, look at the bathroom. It's like a step back in time. That is pretty cool. It's like Art Deco. Look at personal contents. This is something else. I'm not going to look at the toilet. I will spare you guys this time. Ooh. 
Ooh, that creaked. What is that? Tea. Packets and packets of tea. All right, let's make our way back. I'll go on the other side where they are. All right, so I just made a pretty startling discovery. I came in the first room here that I showed you guys. Walked over and look what's here. Well over a dozen needles. So people have definitely been in here doing obvious things. Didn't expect to see that. Okay, so this is the opposite side that I was on. They said only one room down here is really worth checking out. This is like downstairs, the pink room. And the blue room. Wow, it's some pretty nasty decay. You can see a butterfly wind, ch uh, wind chimes. Quaint little pink bathroom. Guess this is the room. Ooh, I like that blue bathroom in there. Actually a pretty nice bathroom. All right guys, still a bit more video to come. Don't forget to stick around to for the end of the video for not only a photo montage, or for some bonus footage, some things that we didn't include in the main video. But if you're liking what you're watching so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay, so behind the villa, there's another building here, which we weren't sure if we were in it or not. We're inside of it now, and definitely this is new to us. Wow, look at that bathroom. I love the old tile and color schemes. Look at this like a library. Ooh, that is, we'll come back to that. That is kind of strange. Wow, this is so heavily decayed. Get out of my library. Hmm, we'll see if I invite you again. <laughs> like there's a really small creepy room up here. Is it? Yeah, it's like it's like where they would have kept kids or something. Oh, you're up there. <laughs> I think you're behind me. How'd you get up there? Steps.
There's a pretty big bathroom. I've got a towel still here. This is crazy what we're finding. I know one of my viewers knows about toilets. So you could possibly tell me the date on that. Got a Time Magazine there for Neville. Let's see. Uh, August 2006. The groovy wallpaper. Wow. Look at this place. Unreal. I'm guessing this is an old office, but it's like somebody was kind of like tinkering with stuff in here. All right, let's uh, head back towards that little creepy kids area. I don't know what that is. Oh. What is this over here? Somebody's been staying here. It looks like there's all batteries and stuff. There's clothing back there. Look at that in the closet. There's a pet carrier. Ooh. Something's crawling back there. Yeah, something's making noise back there. I don't want to disturb it. Straight ahead, though, is where we want to go. This is all kinds of weird. This is so strange. It's like a little kid's room. Like, look at it. It's giving off a not so pleasant vibe up here. I don't want to go much farther. I don't know how stable the floor is, but this is uh, something unexpected, I'll tell you that. Looks like even a chalkboard there. They made murals saying happy life, smile. Very odd. We still have to go downstairs, but let's go check out this bookshelf. Super Bowl. Oh, it's like an intercom system or speaker. New tone. That's probably got some age too. If you guys have any information on this stuff, please let me know. I think that's an amplifier. There's a hot tub outside. Where? Right out here? Yeah. Yeah, to your right. Oh. It's got a new tone speaker system out here. Huge thermometer. Wow, this kitchen is amazing. Let me flip the widescreen. Wow. Was not expecting this. How cool is that? Look at the dining room table. Chandelier. The tiled black backsplash with the animals. And again, why is nobody washing the dishes? They leave them there dirty. I don't get it. But actually, I think they are clean. That's the drying, drying rack. So you got dual ovens there. You got the burners. This big hood here, which is tiled. Look at the refrigerator. Still got items. A lot of people are drinking tea here. I noticed that. 
2001 calendar. Look at that clock. This is like a time capsule in here. This is like a complete 70s kitchen. Modern made. Not sure what that is. There's a dishwasher. Yeah, this is a really unexpected. Look at they're even sir um, saving the plastic bags from the market. This is so cool. So here's the dining room looking into the kitchen here. And wait to see what's over here. This place keeps getting better and better. Look at this woodwork. These are, uh, I thought they were pocket doors, but I don't think they are. But look at fireplaces, the uh, built-in shelving. My God, this is really nice. Out there is where the hot tub is. It's like a trophy room. I think this building is probably my favorite from our trip here today. So many cool things. But those uh, wood entryway there is just something else. We still got more of it to check out though, so let's keep going. That goes back up to where we were. We saw that up there. And look at this door. Big heavy duty door. It's just storage. It's got the baseboard heating. It's a nice little half bath. All right, let's go downstairs now to the basement. Laundry room. I'm trying to go a slow enough pace to give you guys a chance to see everything, but to keep moving because there's a lot to see. Oh, there's a little frog in here. There he is right there in the middle of the screen. Some retro furniture. Like a little bar down here. There's a bicycle. I wonder if that's OJ's glove. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our return visit to the abandoned Neville Resort here in the Catskills of New York. We had a fantastic day here today showing you things that we didn't see last time in our first visit. And even though this is a long video, hopefully you found it entertaining. We got to see a lot of great things. The highlight for me was definitely the snow cat, snow machine groomer, and the uh, building towards the end where it had the um, bookshelf, the library area, and that uh, tiled kitchen was really something else. Everything else, though, in the general, made for a great day and some great footage. I'll turn to Mike first. Do you want to say uh, what you thought about it? That's pretty good. Um, we saw everything that we didn't see the first time. So it was pretty neat to go through and see all the items. And like I said, the, uh, the snow cap machine, that was really cool. Um, can we take it home? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really neat. Um, I will have up a picture slideshow as well on my channel, Good Day for Decay. So check it out. Yeah, that'll be linked down below in the description. And Laura, you want to share your thoughts? Um, I was here in May, and uh, surprisingly, there's not as much destruction, I should say. There isn't a lot of destruction like there was then, but I did enjoy checking out a lot of spaces that I didn't see last time, like the mini golf 
section downstairs and the 70s funky place. <laughs> <laughs> and um, on a point of what she said too, when we were here back in, I think it was December, me and Mike came for the first time. It was in a lot better shape, even though the whole resort as a whole is decayed and deteriorated and vandalized. It's much worse now, nine months later, with the pool. Somebody threw that bridge in the pool and a lot of more graffiti, broken windows. So if anything does, people, if anything, uh, just notice some people walking over there. If anything does change though with the future of this place as far as getting demolished, saved, reopened, whatever the case is, we will do another follow-up video. I think after today's video that we probably covered more than about 80% of the property here. Everything else is just guest rooms, hallways, closets, and decay and mold. So if you guys have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share about this video, please drop them down below in the comment section. In the description, you'll find links to Mike's channel, Good Day for Decay, as well as my first video here and my Abandoned Remains playlist where it has all my abandoned adventures. So with that said, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. All right, so we were just on our way out, finishing up our video here at the Nevali, and we discovered something in the woods here. And we thought maybe it's something we already checked out. We walked up here, and this is something we've never seen before. And something that we've never seen in videos. I don't think anyone's ever shared this before. You can't tell what it is. This might give you a good clue. This is the Nevali Saddle Club. They had horseback riding here. And this is all horse stalls. There's a little office. Let's see if we can find a date on something here. Uh, I'm not going to show the clothes, but right here, something in 1990. I think they probably had the saddles there, right? I don't think so. Possibly. There's all different belts. There's all types of riding gear. I think those are maybe coats for the horses. Yeah, this is, I never realized I had this here. They have the horses names too. Tie-dye, Friendly, Murphy. Let me zoom in a little bit to show you. See a uh, rain, cow, doby, candy, Hercules. That's very cool. There's a big stable here. You know, they would have had like the plaques right there with some information or their names on it. Looks like probably where the horses were kicking the wall. Yeah, so they had a nice little corral out here. Probably had trails too, I wouldn't doubt. But this is a uh, Quite the find here. Never knew this was here. Yeah, incredible find. I'm so glad we found that. That's something that's never before seen or shown on any of the videos we've ever seen for the Neville Resort. So, really cool on our part that we stumbled upon it. All right, there's the ski slope. We made it back to this area. We're gonna check out the uh, ski lodge area where the sunken in fireplace is. Turn my light. This is in uh, a lot worse shape. This is the uh, rental area where they have the uh, ski rentals.
Wait a minute. Did I just see something? Wait a minute. I thought I saw someone standing back here. I could have sworn I saw somebody standing right here. It's not Mike, it's not Lori. I'm the only one in here. That was freaky. All right, let's, let's go back out. I truly hope I don't see anyone like that again. That was uh, a little unsettling. I'm not sure what I saw. I don't know, this is getting kind of weird. I think maybe I should get out of here. If I see another one, I'm booking it. <laughs> I wonder why they ran out of here. I don't know. All we want to do is just dance with them.